ready? All, all afternoon. It's only an hour. <laughs> well, it's like you can frown. You can frown. <laughs> so, um, as we all know, we're here to really celebrate. Um, I'm not a, I was going to say a life as though she's. <laughs> But in reality, we are, we are celebrating her life and her legacy here at, at Community Action and Partnership. Um, there's a quote that, when I read the quote, it really, really, really um, hit home for me because I feel like it describes the law. And it's a quote by Miss Oprah Winfrey. And it says, the world's most prominent women leaders show the importance of honesty, courage, impact, and decisive action and leadership. Let me say it one more time. The world's most prominent women leaders show the importance of honesty, courage, impact, and decisive action and leadership. For me, that represents who Dolores is. Every day, all day. So one, one, you know, as, as coming in five years ago as this new CEO, um, you know, I had to meet with everybody. And through my relationship with Dolores, I think one of the things that I've learned um, is about being, about having unapologetic truth. Because no matter what we were dealing with, no matter what we were wrestling with, even though she may not agree with the group or agree with me, she always stuck to her truth. And um, I learned that. And she's helped me become a better leader on how to be unapologetic about my truth. Um, as I shared with her team, was it last week? Yes. As I shared with her team last week, um, I meet a lot of people from all over the country. And every now and then, you, you meet somebody who has the it factor. Not just special. But you know that they got it. It's something about them, something about what they carry, something about who they are that lets them know that they are a trailblazer, they are a different make, difference maker. And for me, that's who Dolores is. Um, we're going to miss her. Like, who am I going to fight with and argue with? <laughs> <laughs> like, who's going to disagree with me in the meeting staff? <laughs> who's going who's to interrupt me while I'm talking? <laughs> Have nobody? Well, Curtis is here, though. <laughs> Curtis is still here. Um, but she's been um, such a delight to work with. Um, I've learned so much from her. Um, I know her team has learned a lot from her as well. Um, I, and I, I share with them, there's some leaders that, that she's mentored, either directly or indirectly, that are coming up. It's going to be the next wave of leaders for this organization. That has a lot to do with who she is, what she's, and how she's impacted this organization. And guess what? It wasn't just internal. The number of collaborative groups she's worked on, the number of collaborative groups she's led, all those things have a great impact in the community. Um, um, I know some, I've gone to some, some um, events where people are retiring, there's five people in the room. Um, only a few people can pack out a room. Um, and it just shows the impact that you've had on the number of lives. Um, not just your, your direct family, but all of these lives in here. Look around, all these lives. <laughs> Um, that says a lot about you. And so, um, as an organization that's fighting poverty, as an organization that's trying to make a difference in people's lives, as an organization that, you know, when you first came, was it 25 years ago? 24 years 23. ago? 23 years ago. Um, to see the number of programs that we have um, have a lot to do with your development, your vision to really make those things happen. And so, I want to say thank you um, for, um, for your unapologetic truth and for your courage to be a trailblazer, to be decisive in your leadership, and to smile. <laughs> so, team, we want to present you um, with these flowers. Twenty-three flowers in there. Uh, well, one to grow on. <laughs> <laughs> I understand. I understand. So again, just thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, this team won't be the same without you. But as I said, we've learned a lot from you. 
Um, we know that if we need you, we can call you, right? Absolutely. Yeah, it's on the call. green paper. So, 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 so we'll do that. Um, I know, you know, we have board members who are here as well. I want to acknowledge our board members who are here. Um, but I know that they feel the same. Um, they, their sentiments are the same, that this is a big loss for, for this organization going forward. But we're better because of you. It we're, was time. We're, strong, we're stronger because of you. Thank you. And so for that, we want to say thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Plan. Does embarrass you some more? Did I get to speak before yes. or afterwards? <laughs> <laughs> well, because I'll get a pen and start writing things. <laughs> 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 you can do what you want. You can do whatever you want. Oh. Thank you. Well, I want to do this first because I know when I start doing thank yous, I'm going to cry. <laughs> so I'm going to do the speaking first. Because um, I've been thinking a lot about, um, you know, the last... Because it's been wonderful 23 years here, but I started in nonprofits in 1978. Wow. So it's been well over 40 years that I've been doing this. And the first nonprofit I got a job at, Women Care in San Diego, um, that I have two things that stand out for me. One is it was a women's health collective and it was a clinic, and we were there to fight for women's rights to choose, and it's really sad for me that if you're a woman not in California, you may not still have those rights. So we have to be vigilant. Whatever we do, we have to remember that it's precarious. There are always people out there that are going to take it away because there are people for which power is important. Um, the second one about that is that I was hired as uh, the Director of Community Relations. And um, since then, because it's been 45 years, I have been a director, an assistant director, an executive director, a director of advocacy, a director of social services. I have only been a director for 45 years, which from my kids will probably tell you why they think I'm bossy. <laughs> no. <laughs> but honestly, for me, what it meant is I'm where I'm supposed to be. I was meant to be in that position. I didn't grow up to be an administrator, but I'm good at it, and I love it. And so that's what I should have been for 45 years. And, and then LaShonda, when she put this together, she said, let's talk about your passion. And so for me, my passion has always been equity. Always, always, always. Since my first human relations conference when I was in seventh grade, in, went to LA, which was really wonderful. But the only important person I saw was Lauren Green. And only if you're old people and remember Bonanza does that have any value. <laughs> and then at the time, he, I, he was from Canada. I said, no, no, this is a problem here in the United States. This is our problem. So I want to thank you because um, for the last couple of years, we've really, as an agency, been on a journey for diversity, equity, and inclusion. And um, it's like, finally, I have a group to share this with. And I know I annoy them all the time. I've seen something, I send them emails, but it, it really has been to my heart, this whole thing. So um, I have a, some, a few th thoughts on that one too. Um, this is the one I've been saying a lot. Diversity is a fact. Look at this room. It's a fact. Equity is a choice. It's how we choose to address it. Inclusion is the way we implement it and belonging is the result. Wow. So wow. this has just been um, an amazing way to end the things that I'm doing. And then there's this really rumor out there, which actually is true, and there's many of us in there, <laughs> that there were 23 babies that were born in my department in the last 23 years Aww. to my staff. <laughs> I mean, I have three of them that had three, and a couple of those are here now, so that helped. I had two of them that had two babies. You know, I had three men that had children born to their wives, and then a few other single ones, but they're here. And um, I'm, I'm happy, because it makes me feel like, in terms of working somewhere, that it's a family. It really is a family, that people spent their lives with us. Um, and then the, the part that 
I, I mean, sometimes we talk about social services and we say we're giving them so much more than just utility assistance or box, food boxes or you know, that we're really giving hope. Uh, and I've come to think that no hope isn't what it is, that for the last 23 years, I've been able to share my faith. I want to hold on to that because it's faith very differently. I believe in the people that we serve. My belief is in possibilities. I believe that they can have better lives. I believe that the children can succeed. I believe it. And I believe in my staff. They, they're the ones. <laughs> Take the class. <laughs> I believe that they can open the door. I don't think we give power to anyone. I think they always had their power. And all we do is open the opportunity for them to realize it. Um, I do quotes too, lots of quotes. And Margaret really has one that our biggest challenge is that we're afraid of each other. Mm. So I think we find safe places for people. I think that we share, if we're lucky, power. If we, we it isn't, so my faith is that, um, and I've been so blessed. That's why I say blessed. I've been blessed to be able in a place where I can share that faith. Um, I don't think we either create change the same way we don't give power. People change their own lives. We don't change people's lives. But they don't do it unless they feel safe. And so if we can find a place for them to be safe, to make the changes that they need and want to make, um, I think we've done the best we can do. Um, and this is where I um, say thank you. Uh, I'm going to start with Lashonda because she thought of this idea. So thank you, Lashonda. It was really wonderful. Um, of course, I want to thank my kids because they've been with me the whole journey. You know, most of it. <laughs> They're not that old. <laughs> and I do have a story where you know I'm always about systems change, and I already told this joke, so you wait till that. Um, and my kids helped change a policy at Community Action Partnership. <laughs> when we were moving into Lampson, and, um, there were, and we, didn't, we weren't actually moved in yet, and there was, it was empty, and I went to the offices before they all opened, and I brought my kids. And they just 